Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the recto uterine pouch. The recto uterine pouch is also called pouch of Douglas. This is a cul de sac in the female, and this is the most dependent part of the peritoneal cavity in upright position, most dependent part of the pelvic cavity in supine position. So, this is the pouch of Douglas. Uh, the, this is the recto-eaten pouch. recto uterine pouch, also called pouch of Douglas. This part, this is a pouch between the rectum and the uterus. It is also called pouch of Douglas. This is the most dependent dependent part of the peritoneal cavity in upright position and most dependent part of the pelvic cavity in supine position. Okay, then we will go to the boundaries of the rectuitan pouch. Boundaries. Anteriorly, it is bounded by the posterior surface of the uterus. Posterior surface of the uterus. Posterior surface of the uterus and the posterior vaginal fornix. This is the posterior vaginal fornix and the posterior vaginal fornix. So, this is the uterus. This is the posterior surface and this is the Posterior vaginal fornix, posterior vaginal fornix. This is just like an arch like extension of the vaginal cavity around the cervix. Okay, we got the anterior boundary. Now we go to the posterior boundary. Posteriorly. Posteriorly, it is bounded by the anterior surface of the rectum. This is rectum. This is anterior surface. Posteriorly bounded by the anterior surface of the rectum. Below or floor is bounded by the recto vaginal fold of peritoneum. Floor or below below floor is bounded by the recto vaginal fold of peritoneum fold of peritoneum okay this is that recto vaginal fold of peritoneum here we have peritoneal lining peritoneal lining this is a part of peritoneal cavity this is a cul de sac this is a pouch and this is our recto pouch or the pouch of Douglas. We got the boundaries. Now we'll go to the contents of the recto pouch. What are the normal contents? Contents. Normally it contains a Contains coils of small intestine, especially the ileum. 
coils of helium small intestine okay a few ml of serous fluid because it is a it is a dependent part of the patron cavity okay we'll get this is this is normal content and it it will be palpated by power rectal examination or power vaginal examination okay can be palpated by power vaginal examination power vaginal examination of the finger if we pass our finger here you can palpate something is present here if we pass our finger through the anal canal we can palpate if is there any deposit here or something hard or something different you may get feeling or vaginal or power rectal examination okay and it is about five centimeter from the anus from here to here the distance is at about five centimeter the fluid is Five centimeter above the anus. Okay, we got the boundary. We got the normal contents. Now we learn some of the clinical anatomy and what are the clinical significance. Okay, so clinical anatomy. Okay, this is the most dependent part of the peritoneal cavity in upright position, most dependent part of the pelvic cavity in supine position. So, is there any connection? It is the dependent part, so the fluid always settles towards the bottom by the action of gravity. Okay, so it may contain, may contain. Pass in pelvic inflammatory disease, pelvic inflammatory diseases. Okay, we may get pass here, collection of pass. Okay, it may contain blood in any type of trauma or domestic violence okay any type of trauma it may be ruptured ectopic pregnancy blood in ruptured ectopic pregnancy we know that the fallopian tube especially ampulla is a very common site of ectopic pregnancy after a few months of pregnancy the tropoplastic cell erode the wall of the fallopian tube and the fallopian tube, tube may be ruptured there may be bleeding inside the peritoneal cavity that blood may be deposited in the rectoitan pouch because this is the most dependent part okay so in ruptured ectopic pregnancy or any type of violent trauma due to any region okay there may be pus there may be blood there okay or sometimes the implantation of the morula or, or the or the embryo happens inside the abdominal cavity on very rare occasion so it may be a site of ectopic pregnancy okay a rare site of ectopic pregnancy possible but very rare okay so that's all about the pouch of douglas boundary contents and its applied anatomy or clinical anatomy if you like my video please support my channel 
please subscribe me share the information with your friends and have a nice day bye now